Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and in the video today we're going to show you our wireless accelerometer sensor. So you can see we've already got it set up on the experiment here. So the wireless accelerometer has an accelerometer built in and a gyroscope. And in a couple of moments when I attach it to our EasySense 2 software, you'll see all the different ranges that you can actually use with that as well. Now in the pack, you can see, probably see cable tie already, you get three cable ties with it. You also get a hook on here, so you can screw it into the end just here if you want to do experiments where you can attach this to it. One of the common ones is you can swing around the head as well, so that's a nice experiment to do there. So we'll turn this on. Now with our Bluetooth sensors, they've all got obviously Bluetooth built in, but they've also got built-in rechargeable battery and USB as standard across the whole range. So you can see it's now flashing blue, so it's now broadcasting Bluetooth. And you probably can't see from there, I think the black band's actually blocking it, but it's also got a six digit number on the front. That's unique to the sensor you're using. So if you have more than one wireless sensor in the classroom, the students will know which one is there simply by checking their click into the right, uh, on the right one with the six digit number. So it's ever so easy to connect to the software. You can just go to devices on the top here. It comes up automatically. And as I said, if you've got a number, the students will know which one is theirs. You can go and click connect. It takes anywhere from a couple of seconds to five seconds. It really does depend how old your device is. But there you go, connected in about two seconds. So you can see the accelerometer has the ranges here. If we click on gyroscope, you've got all the ranges for the gyroscope there as well. We're just gonna do acceleration accelerometer here uh, with X to start off with. Now, you can also change the range. We're gonna be on the smallest one here today as well, because we're doing a simple harmonic motion and it's only gonna be bouncing by a small amount. So we can show that on there. So we now go and click on graph. Now with the EasySense 2 software, it's just for experiments when you don't need to change the time span or the sample rate, it's ever so easy because you simply click start. I'll tell you what, we'll click start to, oh, before I click start, you do need to tear this one. So the reason to tear it is to make sure zero is central. So we can go and click set tear, it's nice and easy. Click start on here, you can see it's at zero, but I can now start it bouncing. There you go. We'll let that go for about 10 seconds, just so you can see how easy it is, and the scale, uh, the scale auto scales, the time auto scales on there. So there you go, it keeps logging, and we can click stop. Now we've got this data at the front here, which is zero, which is great showing how this obviously works, but I don't want that on my graph here today. So what I'm actually gonna do now is just select some of the data before I go and select uh, a calculation with force. So there you go, we'll go from about there to there, that's about right, there you go. I'm going to use that selection. I'm now gonna to go to calculate, because I'm now gonna derive force from the acceleration. So I'm gonna add a series. So this is going to be force, just gonna name it force at the top. Its units are going to be Newtons. The formula will be AX, there's lots of other formulas there as well, but we just need AX. The value, the value is going to be these two masses. The two masses are 560 grams. I should have weighed everything. If you wanted to be 100% precise, everything from there down you would weigh. But we just will put 0.56 in here today just because of the 560 grams. So we can now go and click save. So the important part here is you can now see at zero, it's shown its rest position, therefore showing no net force, but it's at maximum velocity. So you can see that coming through just there now. So, I mean, we could also on here to play around with the ranges. So you can say min to max, so we can show that. If you needed to zoom in a little bit so you can see precisely how that's working on there as well. Now, there's lots more videos on our website. If you also go to our product page, you're gonna see there's lots more experiments uh, on there for you to download. Other ones uh, such as study a free fall, opposite forces in collisions. There's even a nice earthquake one when you can put that on a table and then knock it so you can then see that it's starting to uh, work uh, to detect earthquakes as well. There's lots of brilliant experiments. So please do go to the product page to see lots more ideas there. But also on our YouTube channel, there's lots more videos like this on all our wireless sensors. Uh, also there's uh, ideas of how to use the EasySense uh, 2 software as well. So that's ideal to guide you through it as well as showing how the wireless sensors themselves work with the experiments. So do go and have a look at that. Also, while you're on there, please do go and allow notifications. So when the next videos are put up, you'll obviously be notified accordingly. Uh, website is data-harvest.co.uk. And if you have any questions at all, uh, or you just want further information, please email us, which is sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.